wasn't supposed to be like this. In and out, they said. A show of force, they said. The Hellgast war machine was destroyed on Vecta, and you guys just need to sweep it up, they said. But, like any animal, the Hellgast are at their most dangerous when cornered. In two, we have created a world that is very hostile to you in many different ways. But at the same time, we've created a world that is very real and very believable. When we started developing the world of Helgen, we really started at the basis for almost anything we design. And the basis is basically the Helgas themselves, their ideology, their politics. And that goes for anything in the world, from their cars till their vehicles, from the houses that they built. Everything's kind of built from this ideology upwards. We decided to host Kills on 2 entirely on Helgen, which is an alien planet, but it still looks very eerily familiar. So you'll recognize a lot of the things, like the structures and the buildings, but you won't recognize lots of the Helgen technology. This allowed us to create a unique world with five completely different gameplay environments and ten completely different experiences. The audio uh, really adds to the cinematic nature of Kills on 2. We have a dynamic music system, which means that whenever action is ramping up, the music will ramp up accordingly as well. Previous games, we were limited by memory in the number of senses we could trigger, but this time we stream it all from the Blu-ray, which adds to the variety, and the player won't keep hearing the same sentences over and over. Colonel Raddick. The one thing that we're all kind of looking for, and a lot of people are talking about scale, for us it's much more about density. Everything in the world has to be extremely dense, the experience has to be dense, the action has to be dense. You know, you can look at the world and it can be very large, but it can still feel empty. So on a very small scale, putting nasty little details in the environment, water dripping everywhere, bugs and insects kind of throughout the game. One important aspect is the city itself. It needs to kind of look threatening. So we started looking at their architecture, how their skyline looks, making, making sure that it almost kind of looked like a ragged knife. For Killzone, we've taken inspiration from the great totalitarian 20th century regimes. You see that reflected in many things on Helga. You see it in the architecture, kind of Stalinistic, pompous. You see it in the weaponry of the Hellgast, which is very mass-produced. Everything that is Hellgast and Helgen kind of feels very replaceable versus very individualistic for the ISA. The main thing about Kilsen is immersion. Everything that we do, we want to kind of really immerse the player in the experience. We always wanted the Helgas to be very menacing, and we needed to have a world that fit very well with that character. So we started looking at making everything be very scary, very hostile, very threatening. And there's a very good German word for that. There's a word that they call unheimlich. Unheimlich basically means unholy. And that's the sense that we wanted to give the player. This is really somebody else's society, somebody else's world. You're not welcome here. 